Hello everybody, this is Shane Armin Rowe and we're back with another Directory Opus Quickie. Maybe you've noticed that the back changes of these listers, red or black or blue if you would, based on source and destination, but what if you'd like to set the colors of individual folders to something that makes sense for you? Now there's a million and one reasons you might wanna do this, but we could set the background of each one of these folders to a different color. This just requires a quick trip over to Preferences. This was changed since version 12. Scroll yourself down to Folders. Of course, you could use Search, but... And do Folder Images. Now, I know that doesn't make sense, Images, but you're talking about Colors, but Colors got moved into here. So go ahead and add the folder or folders that you want to change. Now, I just add these quickly in random succession here because it's quicker and easier for me to do this one at a time. And I'm gonna add all four of those folders. Great. Now, one at a time, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna change the color, the fill color. And we'll just pick some random colors. Please do not uh, judge me on my choice of colors. They're not gonna be very beautiful, but listen, it's good for the video. Make that one blue. And you might set these based on what's inside, blue for pictures, uh, you know, or red for documents, whatever. I'll share with you how I use this in a working environment here in just a moment. Then we'll hit apply. Now we'll go in and check this out. Every time you go into the folder, it changes color. When you leave, it goes back to the regular default color. That's pretty neat, right? Seems pretty simple. Now in my IT line of work, I deploy files into development and test and production environments, and I can color code the folders in green, yellow, and red to make sure that the files that I'm putting in those areas are correct. Now, obviously, if you want to turn this off or change them back, you can just uncheck mark them and leave them there in case you may want to use them again. And you can see once we do that, I'll just move this over here, and you can see that they are definitely now no longer changing colors as we go into them. But of course, if you really just want to nuke them, of course, there is a remove option. And unfortunately, you can't multi-select. Maybe that's something we can get added. I don't know how important it is. But if you had a bunch of them and you wanted to get rid of them, it might take you a little while to get them all. Listen, that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Leave comments if you want to see more. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care.